Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Amy, and we are ministering to 10 people. Awesome. Uh, so if you see your name here, then you put your name somewhere on the comments, and I was able to put your name uh, on this list so we can minister to you. Uh, if you also would like to receive ministry, just write your name in the comments, and I'll add you to the list. I'm usually about two or three days ahead with the list, and I thank God for that, because then we can record uh, our ministry before the time, and just post it once a day. So if you would like to receive ministry, just write your name in the comments, and I will add you. Um, so usually, I don't mind if people ask more than once, because usually we try to, when we prophesy to people, to minister at least once every three months to people. But now when we minister, we minister quite short, because on YouTube you can't have long videos and give long words and so usually when people receive a prophetic word one-on-one -on -one, it's usually five to ten minutes long but when we give a word in this format it's usually run about a minute or so and so therefore if someone asks more regularly for word I don't mind because uh, you know in a in a month you only can get you know four or ten minutes worth of prophetic ministry which is still a, a small amount of ministry so for me if you even over and over write your name in the comments I don't mind uh, but you know if um, if you knew I also don't mind That's, uh, we, we minister uh, our prophetic protocol is edification exhortation and comfort so we won't bring a word of judgment um, it's not that God doesn't speak words of judgment as we just keep to the protocol of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 3 Alright, so let me jump in Christopher, the Lord is showing to me how He's going to promote you how He's going to open up doors for you and bless you and use you and I see you in a technical field where you really help people with practical problems how the Lord has given you wisdom you are, uh, are a problem solver and then the Lord shows me how you've got a very strong work ethic you work hard, you work long hours and I felt that the Lord says you're going to build right now a strong foundation for your future and so now is not a time to take it easy, but now is the time to put in that long days and to work hard and to serve and to even volunteer in many places. And so as you do it, you sow seeds and that seeds is going to uh, um, turn over into a big harvest. And so the Lord says in his word that he gives seed to the sower and the Lord says you are a sower and I will give you seed and you'll be faithful and grow and multiply and be very blessed. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. This next voice for Teruz. Teruz, God loves you so much. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm giving you the equipment to climb mountains. And I just see how God is equipping you with the armor of God. He's covering you. And I just feel the Lord says, um, don't look at the, the path ahead of you. Just keep your eyes fixed on me and keep on walking. And I just feel how the Lord is really going to um, really be with you in this journey in your life. I feel God is healing you and giving you so much love. And He's calling you to pray for people for healing pray for them to receive the father's heart and the father's love and it, it, the picture god showed me for you was how god has called you to be a waterfall but this waterfall is pouring into other people's lives um but all these people have it's like they're holding up buckets and they have holes in them and the thing is you can pour so much water in there and then nothing is going to come into it um and i just feel the lord says that i'm calling you to to um ask them, to encourage them to bring their 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 buckets to me to bring their lives to me so i can fix the holes and i can make them whole again so that when you minister to them when when i pour out my spirit over their lives they can fully receive it and i just feel that's a new ministry god is taking you in god loves you god bless you teruz hey teru god bless you all right so the next word is jazz uh, the lord is showing to me pockets of provision so you you have like provision a lot of it in a short amount of time and then there's time where you really feel there's lack and there's, uh, there's uh, challenges and then you have provision again and it's in pockets uh, but I see how in 2025 the Lord gives you favor he opens up doors and you lock in the provision of God it's like you 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 land a contract or you get a, a, a job where you are promoted and appointed and I felt that the Lord says because you have trusted in me, you've been faithful to give even in the times when, when you had lack. The Lord says, I'm giving you that harvest of constant provision and security in your life. And you're not uh, connected to, to humans and to uh, them giving you favor, but you're connected to God and to His favor that is given to you. Just uh, the Lord loves you very much and is proud of you. God bless you. 
blessing. God bless you. This next word is for Hazel. Hazel, you're such a blessing. God loves you very much. And I just feel how God is giving you new hope and how God is really decorating you with his glory and telling you how precious you are. But I just feel how, um, if I could describe it, it's like God has decorated you with these diamonds, but there's still more than enough diamonds and how, and you're like holding these and like, God, what should I do with them? And, and you know, a lot of people are like saw them away in their houses. Um, that's what I would do if I had a bunch of diamonds, but I just saw how the Lord says to you, I'm calling you to um, mentor and disciple and to decorate a lot of other young girls with these diamonds and I just feel that the, um, the Lord says I've given you so much to give and you will never run dry you'll never be burnt out or be empty you will always overflow with the abundance of my hope and love and I just feel in every way how you're going to give and how God is just going to increase um, a lot of things that you're trusting for in your life God loves you loves you so much hope um, 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 Hazel. Hazel God bless you okay, Hazel I, I also felt that the Lord says you're going to change the architecture uh, of the city where you are and the Lord showed me Paul and Silas and how they went into uh, that that uh, dungeon uh, of the city of Ephesus and how they worship God after they've been treated unfairly and how the Lord came and shook that place and set them free and then the God of the the, the prison was saved that night and the Lord gave them favor and they were able to preach the gospel and light on if, uh, uh, Ephesus became one of the strongest Christian cities in the world and I felt that the Lord says the same will happen through you the Lord is going to use you going to praise the Lord even where the enemy has caused you to be treated unfairly the Lord says I'm going to give you seven times back I'm going to restore the city but I'm going to also use you as a a guide for revival to come where you are and so keep on trusting the Lord there's a strong evangelistic anointing on your life and just walk with him uh, as a mother in the spirit and uh, I just feel the Lord says trust in him keep going endure persevere for those who who overcome and who persevere in and endure to the end they will eat from the tree of life uh, and they will they will receive the white stones and all of those promises that the Lord has for us. And I, I feel that the Lord says, you will persevere and overcome. God bless you, Hazel. Thomas, the Lord is saying to me, uh, you as an airplane pilot, and are you flying the airplane? But you're flying the airplane quite low. So you're going through all the storms and all the rain, and then it's open, and then it's this, the sun in your eyes. And I felt that the Lord says, this is now a time in 2025 to raise the altitude, to go to a high level where you are above the storm, uh, where you have so much extra capital, so much extra joy, so much extra faith, uh, where the Lord is bringing you like an eagle to soar. You know, the eagle, when it's flying low, it has to put in a lot of effort because it goes against all the winds. But when the eagle is high, it comes into an airstream and it can just open up his wings and it can just soar. And so the Lord says, Son, uh, raise your attitude, raise your altitude, raise your faith in me, uh, even raise the capital with which you are functioning in, in your workplace. And the Lord says, uh, I'm going to cause you to soar and you're going to have my perspective instead of uh, earthly perspective. The Lord's hand is upon you and he is going to increase you inside and outside in, in a major way. God bless you. God bless you. This next word is for Heidi. Heidi, you're such a blessing. God loves you. Um, I just saw a picture of how God just pulled you into his arms and he hugged you and he loved you and embraced you. And I just feel how the Lord says, you're my daughter. I love you. And Heidi, I just see how you've been running and running and running. It's like you're very, very tired. But I just see how God sits you down and how he washes your feet and he bandages your wounds and how the Lord says, I'm bringing complete restoration into your life. Heidi, the Lord has given you an anointing for family. God has given you an anointing of wisdom. And I just feel how the Holy Spirit is really speaking to you now in this time. And um, I don't know if you're like in business, but I just feel God is really putting your hand in, re in real life for your resources and provision. And how God is really giving you the knowledge and wisdom that you need um, for business and finances. God loves you. God bless you. Hey, Heidi, God's hand is upon your life. Uh, and I just see that fire of God in you, yeah. a passion uh, for the Lord. He loves you very, very much. And not only you, but also your whole family. Yeah. Uh, there is not only a revival that the Lord has for you, but for everyone in your family. And also healing. I see someone that's young that really have medical struggles and how the Lord also heal that person. God bless you, Heidi. Uh, Louise. 
uh, so the the Lord uh, is going to help you. Uh, he is with you. You are not alone. And just like Peter w uh, was in in the boat, uh, and the Lord said to him, "Step out in faith." I just see how the Lord says, uh, "This next season, even in this next three months, you're going to take that step of faith." And where you were, you felt disconnected from power. The Lord says, "I'm plugging you in. I'm plugging you into power. Plugging you into faith." plugging you into the supernatural and I see just like Peter walked in the water how you walk in water and just like a speaker like a, a music speaker a sound speaker it was unplugged how the Lord plugged you in again and the, the enemy wanted to cancel you but the Lord says I'm plugging you in I'm giving you favor I'm giving you a, you a voice uh, I'm making you an influencer and you're going to be heard and so the Lord says rise up your spirit rise up even the words that you speak and you don't speak words at the flesh level mm -hmm. but you speak at the spirit level and the Lord says, you're not going to get uh, people on a flesh level to help you, but you're going to see the angels of God and even other ministers is going to speak into your life and bring the wisdom of God into your life and give you the counsel of God. And so this uh, year, I, I just see you going through um, wave, waves. Uh, of resistance in your life just go through one and the next one and the next one and so just like a um, a person on the board the the surfing board that tries to get behind the the waves so they can wait for the big wave to come out again i just see how you go through the waves instead of the waves pushing you back to the beach again and you're going to have breakthrough on many areas in your life yeah. i just give one more i see the the nets how uh, Peter and the disciples uh, fished through the night and they didn't get anything. And then the Lord says, put your nets in on the right side. That means that's in the spiritual side. Be obedient to me. Walk with me. Allow my angels to come into you. And then I see supernatural provision come to you. God bless you, Louise. Amen. God bless you, Louise. I really hope you received something. This next word is for Joanna. Joanna, God loves you so much. And I just really feel how the Lord has planted you by the river of life. Um, and, he's, and He's placed you in a good spot. But I just feel how you are like God I'm right now by your river but I want more and I just see how God uh, brings you closer to his presence how God like gives you more nutrients he fills you up with his word with his love but I feel like a lot of um, what you need that's going to solve a lot of problems that you're facing right now is joy and I just feel the Lord wants to give you a new gift of joy into your life so Lord I just bless uh, Joanna with your joy um, and yeah Joanna God loves you so much and I really want to encourage you God is making you strong this is not a time for for you to feel um, the enemy wants to make you feel weak but with him we are strong and I, I just feel God says come to my presence and let me fill up your cup God loves you God bless you hello okay, Joanna God loves you very very much let me just move here a little bit all right, so the next word is for Robson. All right, uh, Robson, uh, the Lord is speaking to me about your heart. How your heart uh, has changed so much over this last uh, period. And how the Lord has given you so much softness and kindness. And people love to come to you and to talk to you and to, to ask you. And, and I see you like one of those disciples that come to Jesus and say, look at all these thousands of people. Uh, they are hungry. We may need to take care of them. Um, let's send them to their home so they can go and buy food for themselves. But then Jesus says, you feed them. And then Jesus broke the bread and he gave it to the disciples. And then they multiplied uh, the, the food so that all of those thousands of people could have food. And the Lord says, son, I'm going to give you food that you can feed thousands of people. And I'm breaking the bread and I'm giving it to you. And you're working for me in my service. And you just trust me. You just use, take that bit that you have. And as you break it, it multiplies and multiplies. And I felt that the Lord says, I'm growing you from this size to that size. And there was first a spiritual revival and a spiritual change, a maturity, a softness a new heart that God gave to you but now the Lord says you have received my heart now I want you to minister and to let it overflow and just like the Lord said to Peter feed my lambs the Lord is saying to you feed my lambs God bless you Amen. God bless you. This next word is for Mamas. Mamas, God loves you so much. And I just see how God is covering you with his compassion. Um, Mamas, while I'm praying for you, I just saw how the Lord says it's time to um, 
I just feel God is inviting you to have a conversation with Him, especially with a lot of things going on, relationships and friendships. And I just feel how the Lord is really going to give you that wisdom and understanding of who is for you and who is not for you yet, or who is not supposed to be um, with you right now in your life. And I just feel how God is saying to you that um, you mustn't lean on to people or like try to perform for people. The Lord is just reminding you that I am your King and the one you serve. And I just feel God is really taking away a lot of um, things that you've been burdened with or like with people pleasing and I just feel the Lord says I I'm going to make a way in your life so I really want to encourage you spend some time with God and ask him who are the people um, that you called me to um, um, be with and I just feel the Lord says well all these other things that you're worrying about um, it's going to like fall off like a branch like a like you know a, a branch when it's old and, and it's it's not right anymore for the tree and it just falls and I just feel that's a lot of how a lot of situations are going to happen and you feel like you need to pull and yank this branch or do something and I just feel how the Lord says it's just going to fall. You come in peace with me, stay with me and I'm going to make a way. God loves you. You are so precious to him and I really feel God has called you to be a person of courage and just the glory of God. God loves you. God bless you. Are they awesome. Uh, my mouse, God bless you. Uh, his hand is upon you. My mouse, I'll just add uh, I see how God puts his hand on you and he fills you up with his Holy Spirit. Yeah. Uh, and I felt that the Lord says, no longer will you walk in strife, strife, but you'll walk in the rest of God, yeah. in the power of God, because he's going to strengthen you. He's going to help you. And you're going to say, wow, all of this amazing things happened in my life because God was good to me. All glory to him. Hey, my most God bless you. Family, it's such a big pleasure for us to minister to you. And I also thank Amy. Uh, Amy is my oldest daughter and she's been over the years so faithful to serve the Lord and to be available to minister to kids and to old people and to <laughs> middle-sized people and everybody yes, and uh, doesn't matter who asked her she says always yes I'm there and she's also a worship leader so they put in long hours uh, but she's there she she does it and she loves uh, leading people also into worship she's got a YouTube channel called Amy Storm and you can go and check it out she does worship music uh, every day or almost every day that she posts there uh, and it's really uh, inspiring and you feel the presence of God on the music that she does and there's a lot of healing on there and so I, I love Amy's uh, worship and so I want to encourage you to go and check it out uh, Amy and I love each one of you yes. uh, I also want to encourage you we got two channels a, a Unity Prophetic Ministry and the other one is Unity with Heaven where I post teachings all right and so i'm trying now over this last few weeks to change my teaching style from just talking out of scripture to telling stories because it's easier for people to receive a message when it comes in a story format and it's hopefully a little bit more entertaining so i'm i'm doing my best so it'd be nice if you guys can, guys can go and check it out also write me a, a little feedback tell me what you think i can do to grow my my teaching channel i really believe the lord just like he gave me a mandate to prophesy to people he's also also given me a mandate to teach people uh, my youtube channel hasn't really grown that much but uh, i'm trusting god and i know he gave me this mandate so i'm working uh, really hard on that so uh, encouragement and feedback and yes. little comments and stuff like that will really help yes. me so i can also hear what you say how i can make that better all right so uh, love you, appreciate you, see you tomorrow, that's Wednesday. God bless Bye. you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here. Yeah.